this provoked police. 911, you need police on a medical. Um, maybe both, I'm not sure. They're just coming screaming outside. Okay, what's the address that they're near? Okay, and is it a male or a female? It sounds like a male. And you don't know why? I don't know why. I think they're yelling help, but I don't know. It's time for my first Okay, did he look hurt? I can't see him. I don't want to go out there. I don't know what's going on. So, they're sending. Do you think he's yelling help? Yes. Alright, what is your... But Zimmerman does anyway. He begins chasing him. This guy looks like he's up to no good or he's on drugs or something. As we learn from his girlfriend, Martin at this point is terrified. He said his man was watching him, so he put his hoodie on. ABC News was there exclusively as she told her story to the Martin family attorney. I'm going to say, what you doing around here? Somebody pushed Trayvon because the head said this fell. A torrent of 911 calls. A guy is raising his hands up. He's saying he shot a They're running right in the back of my I'm pretty sure the guy's dead out here. Holy The sh residents reporting these chilling howls. <laughs> and then that single gunshot. <laughs> There's gunshot. Zimmerman immediately claimed self defense, which investigators on the scene accepted. But investigators also ignored key witnesses ABC News has learned and failed to contact others like Martin's girlfriend. The police department definitely needs to go back, re-interview everyone and anyone that has any information, as well as the FBI. I guarantee you that's what they're going to do. That's going to be their first stop. And all the while, Sanford police claiming they are handcuffed by the law. The law is called Stand Your Ground. Passed in 2005, it allows someone to use deadly force when they feel threatened. Since the law, justified homicides in Florida have jumped threefold. Twenty states have similar laws, but Florida's is seen as the most extreme. Hey, Trey. <sighs> Honestly, it took me like an hour to convince my mom to let me out the house. Finally did it. So. <laughs> You're a bad kid, that's why. <laughs> Rachel, I told you this. I stopped smoking. It wasn't for me. That's good, because we have problems. Oh yeah? Problems like what? I wouldn't let you take me out next weekend. Oh really? Yep. You messed up. Well, I guess since I messed up so bad, I can't <sighs> give you this ring. You got me a ring? Yeah, it's a promise ring. And what's your promise? That no matter what, thick and thin, I'll always be by your side. Oh, Trey, you're the best. <laughs> I know I'm the best. I'm the best. <laughs> well, maybe I'll reconsider you taking me out this weekend. You know, I gotta check my schedule. You know, football players are busy people. So are drug dealers. <laughs> Too soon? Maybe just a little. Trayvon! It's 10 p.m. on a school night! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it won't, it won't happen again. I swear I'm sorry. Lori. Star, this is Stop the Police. Thank you for logging on. Tonight's theme Do blacks have too much freedom? That may sound a little messed up, but that's the theme. Do blacks have too much freedom? I'll let you just digest that for a while and we'll come back to it.
mom, we're going to school. So what you need? Yo, dad, like, can you do me a favor, bro? Like, I got some tree I want you to hold down, you know? You know what I'm saying, dad? Yo, man, I already told you I'm cool on that right now. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. But, like, I got a place to be, you know what I'm trying to say? And when these principles be dirty, it's not like, I don't know. I know, man, but still. No, 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 you don't even have to smoke it, bro. Just hold it down for me, you know what I'm trying to say, Holmes? Just for the day. <sighs> man, you're lucky we got history. All right, yo, thanks, thanks. Sorry, thanks. yo, dog. Bond. Mom, I said it before. It wasn't mine. It was my friend's. I swear. Like, seriously. We need to get out of here. We moved here for a new and better learning environment, but clearly that's not working. You're going to spend the next 10 days suspension with family. Mom, like I said before, it wasn't mine. It was my friend's. I swear. I've had it, Trey. We're going to your uncle's for the weekend. Yeah, everyone thinks you smoke now. Really? Yo, I hate this manual, like... <clears throat> rumors just get me so mad. And like, I hate when people assume stuff, like it actually gets on my nerves. Trey, calm down. I know you didn't and that's all that matters. <sighs> Sorry about that, like... It just gets on my nerves. You know what, like... I'll miss you later and one of my uncles for the weekend. <sighs> okay, Trey. Bye. Be safe. I always am. Should I go talk to him? Nah, there's no need to. I'm gonna go talk to him, alright? Yo, you good? Look, Uncle, like... I don't wanna talk about it. Like, I told Mom and she didn't listen. Like, I don't know what to do. Look, man, look, I understand you, but you know you should have never had to weed in the first place. Uncle, man, I know, I know. It's just 12 days, 12 days. The system's always trying to pull me down. It wasn't even my weed. They put me in for 12 days. It's either suspension or jail time. In this society, you know how it goes for a black man when they have weed. It's either you get a suspension, which usually doesn't happen, or you get jail time, and you know it's gonna go for three months or so. This is how it is in America. You know this. <sighs> Uncle, I know, I know. But I promise you, I promise you, after this 12 day suspension is over, I'm gonna go back to school, I'm gonna fix up my grades, I'm gonna graduate with honors. That's I can't good. Slack anymore. That's good. See, that's the Trayvon I know. Yeah. You don't want to be with these people who are gonna bring you down and, and get you in trouble and stuff. You, you, that's not you, bro. I don't know why you had to take that weed from the guy. You should have never done that in the first place. Yeah, I messed up, man. All right, 
See, you know what? Exactly. As soon as the suspension done, go back to school and get straight to your books. Focus That's on what you want to do. Focus, Focus on your on grades. grades. Exactly, bro. But hey, um, you know my sister's going to kill me if I don't have you doing something while the suspension is going on. You know that, right? Yeah. But, you know, I'll have you, you know, just, just do the dishes. I mean, go mow the lawn and, you know, just do something productive with yourself. Because, you know, I don't want you playing video games all day with your little cousin. You know what? Just, just do the dishes right now and we can watch the All-Star game, huh? All right. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. Come on, let's go, bro. Let's go. Yes. That was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. Hey, you got a dish in there, Trey Bond? Yeah. Hold up. Hey, who's been? He's been winning all the time. Oh, like two, four. Yo, man, how you been? I haven't seen you. Ah, man, what? Come on, man. What are you doing, yo? You're still a little man. You need to. Bro, I'm turned 12 in a week. Leave me alone, man. Oh, what's wrong with you? So, what are you doing for your birthday? I don't know. But you better get me something. Don't no, worry, I, I, I got you. In a couple, better. Days, in a couple of days, I'm gonna get this little man a present. You better! But yo, on a real note, how's school? School's great, I guess. That doesn't sound too great. Yo, what's wrong, man? We're doing a project on racism, but I don't know how to, to present it. Like, what is racism? Man, I don't know what to tell you about racism. It's just something people of all races have to deal with. It's unfortunate, you know? It's very unfortunate, like, black people. We've been at the center of racism for years, decades. It's just some, something terrible we all have to face. There's like no words to describe. It's just something terrible. I guess he helped. Wait, can I ask you something? Yeah, sure, man. Anything. Can you buy me some Skittles? Skittles? Yo, I don't even have any money, but I would if I could, man. Yo, come on. Get your cousin some candy. Look, there's a 7-Eleven. I think it's, yeah, down the street. Down the street, so, you know, I'll send you a little change to go buy your cousin some candy. And, you know, buy yourself some. Oh wait, you mean the one that we passed on the way here? Yeah, 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 the one right up the road, yeah. Yeah, um, I'll give you the money right now, alright? So how long, how long do I got? How long should it take? I don't know, like 20 minutes probably. Hey, it's not, it's right up the road, you know it's right up the road, so that's a 20 minute walk here. Alright, you know. I got yeah, it, I got Be it. careful! Don't worry, I'll be careful. Alright, come What's up? Just wanted to see if you were okay. You know how it is, yo. I gotta get the cousin some candy. Oh, he has a sweet tooth. You probably have one too. You gonna tell me you didn't have a sweet tooth when you were younger? So? You should let off the candy. You're getting a little bit too fat for my liking. You already know football players gotta stay meaty. Football players can be getting suspended. Oh, yo. I see how you're moving, yo. Watch me and you get back to school. We're gonna have a talk. Okay. First of all, I'm big, you're small. I'm right and you're wrong. And there's nothing you can do about it. I'm taller than you. Way taller than you. Wait. The freak? Yo, hello? Yo.
Yeah, we've had some break-ins in my neighborhood, and this is a real suspicious guy. It's, uh, it's Retreat View Circle, and, uh, he's, honestly, he looks like he's up to no good or something, like he's on drugs. Uh, it's raining, and he's just walking around like he's up to no good, and he's just walking around about. Okay, so is he white, black, or Hispanic? Uh, yeah, he looks black. He's just walking around the area of the houses? Uh, yeah, he's got his hands in his waist, and he's a black male. How old would you say he is? Uh, yeah, he's got something on his shirt. Uh, he looks like he's in his late teens. Late teens? Yeah, I think something's wrong with him. He's got something in his hands and he's like coming towards me. Let me know if he does anything, okay? Okay. He's Oh shit, okay, now he's running. He's running? Which way is he running? Uh, yeah, towards the entrance in the back of the neighborhood. Fucking goodness. Alright, sir, what is your name? George. Alright, George, what is your last name? Zimmerman. Okay, George, the cops are on their way. They'll be there shortly. I'm about to follow this coony ass nigger. Anything, yo. I'm on my way home. Just leave me alone, please. Please. Nah, you're up to something still. Shit. I'm not getting away. Enough you fucking guys! I'm doing the world a favor. One less nigger.
Okay, if you'll please publish the verdict. In the Circuit Court of the 18th Judicial Circuit in and for Seminole County, Florida, State of Florida versus George Zimmerman, verdict, we the jury find George Zimmerman not guilty. So say we all four person. They rendered a verdict and uh, once the jury's spoken that's how our system works uh, but I did want to just talk a little bit about context uh, and how people have responded to it and, and how people are feeling um, you know uh, when uh, Trayvon Martin was first shot uh, I said that this could have been my son uh, another way of saying that is uh, Trayvon Martin could have been me uh, 35 years ago. And when you think about why, in the African American com community at least, um, there's a lot of pain around what happened here, uh, I think it's important to recognize that um, the African American community is looking at this issue through uh, a set of experiences. And a, and a history that uh, that doesn't go away. You know, there are very few African American men in this country who haven't had the experience of being followed when they were shopping in a department store. That includes me. There are very, very few African American men who haven't had the experience of walking across the street and hearing uh, the locks click on the doors of cars. That happens to me, at least before I was a senator. There are very few African Americans who haven't had the experience of getting on an elevator and a woman clutching her purse uh, nervously uh, and holding her breath until she had a chance to get off. That happens often. And you know, I, I don't want to exaggerate this, but those sets of experiences inform how the African American community interprets uh, what happened uh, one night in Florida. <laughs> come up on me, not even a cop for that matter, and just shoot me dead in the middle of the street, you know? Something where black people need to unify and come together. And not only that, people that aren't black and just are scared of individuals being able to take the law into their own hands. Because at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. It's about the right of, of, the, of the person, the people, to be able to walk freely, like, in, in a free society, you know? And it's honestly something that, shamefully, that has happened time and time again with Sean Bell, going all the way back to Emmett Till, 
going back to the kid in the Bronx that was shot when the cops ran into his home. So I feel like our freedoms on a day-to-day -day basis are being infringed upon. And that's unacceptable.